nothing. Me think me I go become immobile, <laughs> so me have to get up and do something. And so I started to write. I'm gonna start right. I I have a few manuscripts that I started from a while back, like my outlines for books, and not just the kind of book that what people tell me all the while some fret, which is non-fiction, which is my thoughts on things. And I have that too. I've written about my experiences. I've written poems and prose. But right now, in this season, I am inspired to write fantasy, fiction. And so I made up on the finishing of my first manuscript. And finally, after all these years of saying I'm going to publish, I'm going to publish. And I never thought that years ago I would have told you that nothing can possibly make me feel the way music feel. More recently, I discovered that woodwork make me feel the same way. And guess what I have discovered right now? Writing make me feel even better. Writing, long writing. Because I've always been writing songs and poems and short stories and prose. But, I get to realize, say, Ross, I love this shit. I get buried in it. I may write, I may put humor in it because that's how my personality is. Even when I write, if I write something serious, I still find a way to put humor. And I find myself a crack up over my own jokes. I don't know if that is sane. And I'm open to the possibility to say it might not be, but it, it a crack me up. I entertain myself and I like that. I hope it entertain you too. But that's what I'm doing. I find something to occupy my time. Somewhere actually, I find somewhere occupy my time, what interests me, what amuse me, what entertain me, what, what, what inspire me and, and make me feel alive. And I have people where I have people where inspire me too. I'm going to pick my tribe carefully. I'm going to pick my tribe. Based on compatibility, comfort, comfort. So all these things, I not just tell me. I try to tell you what me I do. Me ah, uh, me I tell you how how me I do. Not what me I do, but how me I do. Um, because me know some people are go through things. Me know some people are go through things, and the more we pretend, so everything normal, and the further we are slipping to whatever this is that we're slipping into psychologically. And the biggest fallout from this will be psychological. It will not be, it will not be financial. It will be psychological. Because some people not going to come out of this the same. You can always go build back your, your resources. You can always. And if you're not earning off one thing, you will earn after, after something else. But, when your mind goes, you know, always come back. You know, guaranteed for come back. So may I beg you now, please take care of the man and take care of each other man. Accommodate people's sanity. However them need to preserve it. Allow them to be seen and, and to protect them sanity. Allow them to do that. Allow them to cry if they need to cry. Allow them to scream if they need to scream. I know everybody live in a country where they can go out of bush and scream and nobody hear them. Some people live in a city. They're going to need to scream in their apartment next door to you. Just shut the fuck up and make them scream. Just make them scream. Because that scream will probably prevent them from going up on the roof and jump. Just make them scream. Just allow people. You don't have to go out of your way to go do nothing for nobody. You know? The thing where you do for somebody can just be if you don't do nothing to them. Just left them. People come on social media these days for convent and for for find an outlet for everything where they not have no other way. Triple me love you too, you know, and me promise me I gotta stop this. So you you know you're weird too, I'm, and you know say me weird. So me not have to explain nothing to you, but you soon see me. Cause me think me I get back good now. But you know, People are do the best what they can do for maintaining themselves and their sanity. And the way they maintain might be different from the way you maintain. Don't, don't, don't demand that people do things like you. Don't demand that. Don't demand that. If there's anybody on here who have a solution for mosquito. So, in a little rock them. Let me show you. 
in the little rock between the rocks of a whole heap of rock pools when rain fall or when the wave them come up them full up the rock pool them and then the mosquito them breeding at them you can't put no chemical in it because this goes back to the water you can't put no kind of chemical in it so if anybody know of one safe way citronella pour if i put citronella in them it's go it, it not gonna um affect the the wildlife outside of the mosquito but yeah me hope god me go me hope me go me go message you after so yeah um I know everybody, I know everybody have one cute little way of expressing, you know. And everybody going on corner go quietly sob. Some people come out the road and scream bumbo clot. Some people actually come out the road and don't know how to let it out. So as the moment you look on them, then thump in your face. So you know what best? Stop look on people so much and might get a thump in your face. Because you might be standing in the way of somebody else's pain. An expression of pain. Just, just step out of people's way. Step out of people we and allow them. You know, when you're walking somewhere. Now judge people because them them because they react negatively to you. You are going to the government office and remember government I like pay them people, you know. Remember right now them are order the nurse them. All of the healthcare workers who come to work, but them I tell them say they're not them are no priority. This is the level of arrogance and rudeness. What we dish out to people and then we expect them to smile when we walk in. When you walk in, them are go angry. Fuck a duck, you know, I pay them and you never want to be nice to them. You don't have no manners to them, you diss them. They, you, them not going to react nicely to people when they come in. So you're going to get bad service. you going to get bad service because people are humans and they like to be appreciated. You ever hear old people tell you encouragement, sweet and labor? And that that mean. Say, so you get you get better reactions when you come in and smile. That's why I eat, I try to be an idiot, you know. I'm going everywhere as a clown, you know, and give joke, you know. I don't, don't tell people for laugh or I beg them for smile, you know. I give joke, and if I find them not find me funny, I shut the fuck up. But most places, I go them find me funny. I chat stupidness and act a fool and be a clown because I don't know what they go through for the whole day. Maybe everybody come in and tell them about them bummer clout. Maybe my first person come in and say, I make them laugh for the day. I don't have no problem I do that. That not take nothing off of me. And them probably gone and they yeah, think me an idiot, but I go to my yard get the best out of them. I get what I come from, I get it in a quicker time than everybody else. And it's not a Tanya Stevens thing, it's a personal thing. Because other people, we're not so called celebrity and artists and public figure, do it too. Just have, just have regard for people and be nice. And then sometimes when I go through things and I go somewhere, and I don't feel nice, I'm not going to be nice neither. And then it's the other way around. And then you need to understand, say, me a one human, and me a go through things, and fuck off and leave me alone. And don't insist on me if you smile, just because you stand up there. Because you now have nothing to do with my mood. Except, say, now you're going to exacerbate what me already I go through. And make it worse. And now, not only me I feel bad from before, and did one cry before, but no more and thump you in your head too. Jeez, we now forgot you all of that. You can just... If you say, can I have a picture of me, say, no, me in my mood for you. Just go on by your business now. I don't disrespect that to you, you know. It's not a disrespect, you know. Me, right now, no in a one space where I want captured for all eternity. Me, no in the frame of mind. I me not project that. I don't feel picture. I me not me no feel in a one picture mood. I'm not happy. I want human. I just come to a hardware store. I come to a supermarket. I come to a pharmacy. I come to a pharmacy. Come fill my mother last prescription. Me no want to take a picture with you. Me no care how you interpret that. It no have nothing to do with you. No be so important to people. No be so instrumental. No be so so big in a people process. No be such a big part of people life. Live your one single life. Keep yourself to yourself. Mind your business. Mind your business. Mind your business. Okay, so me just see who up answer me said, don't try killing them. Oh, me think Citronella did for kill them, lad. Apologize to you, universe. You know I am but a work in progress. <laughs> when you say that, they just feel so, me feel fool. Me feel fool like, don't try to kill them, just try not to make them bite you. That makes so much sense, me sorry. 
So I have to go douse myself in a citronella. Alright, I'm not really opposed to the smell of citronella, but I don't want to smell like citronella. So I'm going to go around this now. Who can tell me something nice like lavender so I can smell like we run the mosquito? You see, now I have, have my own can um, brand of superficiality too, you know. Because, because, I mean, I mean, if Escada them would have worked on something, something, I'm just saying, I make a mosquito repellent to smell like for them kind of smell. Me don't buy that shit. Me like smell nice. Me like smell nice. I go beat and so put them in, put it in a lotion. All right, me go try. Yeah. Music can glam sometimes, but sometimes some I can glam, but I make my sinuses and me don't really want. Me like, um, me like smells. Me really love smells. Aroma. Yes. But I find some drawn more to the the cinnamon and the vanilla and I like smell coffee. Oh my god me. Sharon Williams when we go um Wise Falls. You remember the coffee candle? Eh? Sharon me want back some. Jesus, the coffee candle. Woo! The coffee candle every time I light it and our big fat candle will seem like it did last forever until Kelly light it and left it. There. I burn for days till it burn down and nearly burn the shelf where the burn. Because she never put it in on a plate neither. But, the coffee can go every time I light it. There are things that I suggest where you can try if, the, if it works for you. Know. See now, if I feel sad, down, angry, any of them something there. Coffee can go when I light that. And smell it. Oh my goodness. Oh goodness. It smell good and it just relax me and it it just make me feel like nothing where did I go on before now affect me at all it just melt with everything the coffee can go coffee work for me it, I, I'm pretty sure it's not going to work for everybody but find it find your smell scents are good body products good I mean you have whole heap of different kind of body products some of them not so good for you but read now depend on nobody if you tell you what to use. Go read and you get, find the things that are natural way. Your, your skin is the biggest organ in your body. Your skin absorbs and that affects your health. So be careful what you're putting on your skin. Read. And not just read only the label but also read reviews and read other people. Read what people are saying when know things. And then you fact check it for yourself. But, ooh, sometimes you can just put, put a little, um, you can, your, your wax burner. You can put on your wax burner and with your candle in there and you can make your own scent too with just water or oil and something where you like the smell of. And it not gonna last as long as probably wax candle where they make where it built for last longer, but you can you can do your own smells. Eucalyptus, peppermint, lemongrass oils, yeah. Um I I, I use eucalyptus for steaming and and mental, but I don't know that I want eucalyptus as a scent. For my bedroom, I don't know. It going happen, you know, because eventually me gonna rub up in a pure eucalyptus and them something. So it gonna smell like that. But for now, let me just go and enjoy lavender and you know and little. Me, 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 me light a candle the other day when him something another wine. Um, what was it? One wine. Me don't know say wine have smell like that, but ooh, the candle is nice. Jesus, it was so good. And that relaxed me. Find something where relax you. Find the smells, the sounds. Another thing we like at night time. Me and the rock them not do so good, you know. Another thing we nice in at the night time is um, water sounds. Water sounds work for me. I don't know about nobody else. But the water sounds work for me. So I will find on YouTube a mountain stream. I'm going to find a video where all four hours long. I live at St. Mary. And then I come from. Like Capleton. I will place. And I will find a stream. Like I look up mountain stream. I look up bubbling brook. Anything like them there. I put that video on. And play it. And sleep to it. And that make me sleep like a baby. Water. I love water. I'm cancer. I don't swim. I will not swim. Sandalwood is amazing. Yes. I love sandalwood. And... The water sound relax me. 
Some people go for white noise. Some people go for the ambient sounds. Some people will find can find something like some flute sounds or um, the Middle Eastern sounds. But find what it is that works for you. You might not want to watch a lot of conspiracy theory videos before you go to bed. I don't think you're going to have the best sleep inspired by that. I watch, let me tell you, Hallmark sappy romance movies where me get in a one good warm fuzzy mood. These days I don't eat. I don't eat late. Before me used to carry my little comfort food going on the bed and watch. But I don't do that anymore when I eat late. But more drink my little onion. I slice up the onion, put it in a bowl. And pour the boiling water upon it. I may eat that and drink the water from my respiratory system. And that works perfectly. Clear everything. Make me sing like a bird. May I tell you. Take every every rust and all the people where I tell me say, you know what? Put this in your body, but you put that the kind of dick in your body. It clean off all of the dick them. Yeah. Onion is a reset. Big up Richie. And have have good conversations conversations will relax you it's i don't think debates are the best thing for night time before you go to sleep i think people will make you laugh people will make you feel warm and fuzzy are the best people if you have conversations with when you go to bed go to bed so that you relax and get the best sleep so that you can get deep sleep. So you're going to, what do you call it, REM? REM? When your body are, are do the, re, the real work, I repair itself. This is how we are trying to be healthy, you know, because me notice a lot of people are pushing a lot of things and they're not pushing trying to be healthy. And we start to eat better because it's good for you. Because of the right thing to do for yourself. Not because nobody says so, not because Tanya Stevens says so. Please, who the fuck am I? You do that for yourself. Because it's the right thing to do for yourself. Start eat better. Start eat better. Do better by you. Eat less. Stop binge. Stop be so damn gluttonous. In all things moderation, you know? In all things moderation. Sometimes go on a little cleanse. Try a fast. Try a fast. And... Take care of yourself and take care of each other. That's the best we can do. Me up on this long, 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 long. And me go take time, crawl off it. I haven't seen you guys in a long time. I mean, not a long time, I don't want to go live or sitting and chat, you know. I mean, even before me, neither, before me delete the app, me need not talk. And get this, me not exiled. Me not exiled on Instagram, not tell me nothing on them. No. Me on Instagram, not no war. Nothing not going on. Just me personally want a break, you know. And so, me go take it whenever I feel for take it, however, I feel for take it. And nobody uh, instruct it on me. And so, if I come off, I come off. Nobody asks me, Oh, you did say I come off. No, ask me that. Like, you don't want to see me on here. I come on if I come off. And if you don't want to see me, come off on my Instagram. It's that simple. I'm going to say, you know, when I come on back, whenever that is. And big up on yourself and stay safe. Take care of each other. Avail yourself of all the information that is there. Don't just make nobody come and feed you nothing. Nobody at all. Not me, not anybody else. Look for yourself and fact check the fact checkers. Information is available at your fingertips. Go look it up. See for yourself. If somebody says this is so, check. Everything they everywhere for you can see it, you see? Everything, every, the definition of everything is... And all of the relevant websites for you to go look them up and go see them for yourself. So if me say, I am Tanya Sims and I am human, and I, I am a human made by Kathleen Spencer, and Kathleen Spencer have a website, you go look on her website and see if she make me fit you, and if me really human. Look into the ingredients of me, and see if that constitute human. Look for yourself, think for yourself. You have critical thinking skills. They're dormant, but they're there. Use them and be safe. Take care of each other. Love yourself, love one another. And may God stop the bag of chatting. I'm going here. 
enough love. Big up on yourself. I'm going in my DMs now. I hope I got a message right now. And I can't come off as usual. I tell you, so old age is a bitch. <laughs>